So we are done with creating all the screenshots to document or capture our drafting or 3D modeling. And let's bring everything over to concepts. All the images we created via the screenshot method in Shaper are inside our uh, photo roll. So we can go to import more photos. And there you see them. Let's select our elevation view. Stretch is okay. Let's move this to here and then turn rotate on. When we rotate, we want also to turn snap on. And let's rotate it. Okay. Maybe position this to here. Very nice. Before we now set scale and all the stuff, let's bring it over some more images. Another photo, and here I would like to bring over this elevation view. Rotate, we turn off. There we are. Good. And maybe one more image. Here, I have one elevation view too. So these are both actually elevation section views. Very nice. So um, you see on each image here, I have a length line, so 500 and 200. So how do we now set up the scale? First thing that's important to understand, our outcome here will not be an AutoCAD drawing. We could give to a contractor to build something. What we're going to do here is a scale-wise proportionally correct illustration. So um, we, we don't need to work super precise. Actually, that's the whole reason why we do this by hand because AutoCAD drawings in a project documentation just look boring. That's it. Um, but a hand illustrated, hand rendered quick sketch is just so much more beautiful to look at. But they have to be to scale. All these three images have to be to scale. So how do we set this up now? Now we know we could go to upper right corner, click on the gear, then we say here one inch is 100 inches in my document, unit is inches. Very good. Let's go to here, make a tool, 100% measures on and let's draw a line. So this should be 500. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, one to 100 is too small. Undo. Okay. That's what about 200. Yeah. So there we have a 500 line. Yeah, it's actually maybe not not too bad. So when this is 500, then the other line should be 200 there. Okay, now there. So that that could fit. And another method to to do this too is so let's say we we are planning our layouting so here is everything very good so uh, there and let's say i make a copy so here we have another um section elevation view. Now all this doesn't really fit onto your page. So let's select everything and we scale this down a little bit. There. Okay, good. Now I would like to, because later we have somewhere down here our architectural scale, I would like to have a scale also that doesn't look too goofy. The images again, how big these images are on the page, it doesn't matter. They just need to be architecturally 
plausible scale wise all these images need to be the same so another way to to do this is we have rotate and scale turned on let's go to here okay i turn the guide off zoom in turn guide on again move the top point over there and then the bottom point i move hold and then drag up to there okay so click on set scale at the bottom and then there we can say so one inch in my drawing should relate to 500 inches okay uh, this actually creates this version so hmm kind of odd <laughs> let's do this one more time okay so set scale you notice at the beginning we typed in 1.7 and changes to 1 just here now we say 500 and the software does then the rest for us now you see it says there this is 1 to 281.579 so that's a little bit crazy tap onto the measure um, number basically is where you have measure on off there's the scale tap onto it and then here we we simply say so one inch be 280 very good now so that's a cleaner scale now what I can do is with a finger um, Put your finger onto the number and hold and now here we type in 500 so this is truly a 500 inch long marking i don't want to be able to draw beyond the two rings so double tap onto the guideline with a finger and now with your pencil draw somewhere next to it a nice line there this is 500. i move this guideline to the side Put my finger onto the number and hold and here scribble 200 and then there one more time so this is actually my two length lines so measure return off now i can select partial on item picker here yeah pick this go to there so it's a tiny bit too small huh? so we scale this up careful with pinching the finger pinch and move you have to be very gentle there this actually looks pr pretty good I will turn snap off makes it a little bit easier select this image with a finger and then here now you see this is actually way too big line this up okay this is nice now here with these others we have these lines too now this is a copy so i remove this we actually in this case bring this to there because if one image is correct and this is just just the same object from a different view i shall be able to simply do something like this there now line this one up okay very good then this line i can select whoops this line i can select with the item picker select this and there clean this up and if i select now this we want to turn off the scale we can only move these around now there and there and there very good so we have actually imported our plan views and elevation views and set them up to a good scale for us maybe to take a note we here make a new layer and then there we can um, type in for the moment so one okay why don't you just write oh <laughs> i have the guide turned on guidelines so 
one, two, two hundred eighty. Just in case we might change this or so. Uh, very good. Here I have I added some stuff, so I clean this up. There, it's all gone. Very nice.